I've been researching prehistoric Southwest pottery for many decades, and the one pottery type I always come back to that you just fall in love with are the Mimbres pottery vessels, the bowls, because they illustrate life ways and mythologies and the stories and the legends of their time. And I've had the privilege, the extreme privilege, of being in the back rooms of the museums where all this stuff is stashed away. And I've examined not dozens of these vessels, but hundreds of them. And I've recorded the images. And we have everything from Coco Paley to Spider Grandmother and the Warrior Twins. And we have hundreds of them to show you, and I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hold on to your seat. Okay, we'll begin today with uh, the Warrior Twins. This is the uh, depiction of the Warrior Twins, Brother Elder, Brother Younger. And this is the terrible cloud-swallowing monster. And they're retrieving the clouds from the cloud-swallowing monster. The monster swallowed the clouds, there's no rain. And the uh, Warrior Twins, Brother Elder, Brother Younger, are retrieving the clouds. Here is a beautiful Quetzalcoatl costume that Brother Elder is wearing. You see that big curly thing on top? That's Quetzalcoatl, the plume serpent from Mesoamerica. He's wearing a Quetzalcoatl costume. That's a tongue twister. And he's, he's cutting the head off of Brother Younger. And there's this legend where Brother Younger is decapitated and then is resurrected and becomes the moon. There's a lot of different uh, resurrection uh, stories in the mythologies. And I want to show you how many of these similar images we have of the same story. Look at all these. These are all different bowls of the same story. There's the flint knife he's using to cut the head off. There's the Quetzalcoatl costume. Here's the one we saw before, and here's another one. Don't forget this big goofy thing here, that's the kill hole. That's where the bowl is broken. Here's Brother Elder, Brother Younger. They're all over the place in the mythologies. And if you want a good reference to where to see a lot of, or hear the whole story, go to uh, Joseph Campbell has a good lecture on that. This is Spider Grandmother. And uh, she is, throughout the mythologies, she gives... Uh, Brother Elder and Brother Younger, special weapons and tools, just like Father Son does, special powers sometimes. Here are the Warrior Twins, riding on Spider Grandmother's basket. Brother Elder, Brother Younger, and Spider Grandmother. Remember the Staff of Authority, the Mantle of Authority? She always has that little thing. Here's her sash. And this time she has an antelope in her basket. I think there's some more Spider Grandmother images. Let's see here. Here's the one with the antelope. Oh, here she is again. Oh, this time. No, you could just say this is just a, a lady with a, you know, a basket. But she always has this mantle of authority. This mantle of authority. It's probably Spider Grandmother. Here are the warrior twins riding on the neck of a crane. Brother Elder, Brother Younger. They've just returned from uh, Father Son's house, where Father Son gave them special weapons and special magical things, so they can go off on their adventures and succeed. Cranes are associated with decapitation and the underworld, so it's a pretty risky thing they're doing here, riding on the neck of a crane. Here's a, a crane and decapitation picture. We see a lot of this. There's some story about cranes and decapitation. Uh, notice the face is in white it's because the person's dead or not born yet or sometimes transformation. You have to, if, if it's in white, it generally means somebody's dying or being born or transforming or transcending. Notice there's exactly four tears coming down. Now I want to show you another. This next slide is, this is a piece of pottery that a rancher brought into uh, the museum one day. And it, it's, it, it's the, the, this piece of pottery is from the same image on a bowl. You see the crane's neck, the decapitated head, the little foot sticking up even. And there's four tears, always four in the Pueblo mythologies. 
the back of the other one. It's the same story being depicted. Very exactly represented. Here's a crane again. His body has been largely broken away by the kill hole. But here's the head of the crane and this long crane neck and the little fishes that crane eat. We'll see some other images with cranes and fishes. Here we go. Here's a crane eating a fish and oh, there's the decapitated head. Now interestingly, this one's in, depicted in black. It's not white, which is kind of contradicts what I just said. But there's the crane and a decapitated head again. So cranes and decapitation. Look at the length of that neck. Holy cow. Here are the warrior twins riding on the neck. Here's the one we saw before. Same image. It's been slides in backwards, but anyway. And here's another illustration of the same story. Here they are on the neck of the crane, brother elder, brother younger, with their magical weapons and tools and rattles that father son gave them. And here they are again on the neck of the crane with their magic. You see these stories are illustrated over and over. And remember these were made by different women, possibly a hundred years apart. Very good group. Here are cranes all over the place. Here the crane has eaten fishes. They're inside his neck. Here they are again, same image. Here's the one we saw before. And here you can see, this is not a crane, but I showed this because of the fishes in the belly. And you see the checkerboard pattern on this crane. There's, that's the Milky Way or Starry Sky. Here it is again on the bowl. Probably part of the story. The Mimbres images we saw today were painted between 1000 AD and 1280 AD. And if you want, there's a lot more of them, and we're going to have other, uh, other videos you can see. But if you want to get a copy of the book, Mimbres Mythology, there's a lot of these images we're going to be showing. Uh, just email me, and the address is in the uh, description in this video. It's just kunkel uh, at hotmail.com. That's C-U-N-K-L-E. And just email me, and I'll, I'll sign a copy and make sure you get it. Thanks for watching today. Give me a like, uh, if you like.